Yeah. Baby, girl, you're so damn fine, no. Wanna know if I can hit it from behind, dog. I'm sipping on you like some fine wine, dog. When it's over, I press rewind, dog. Talking bands, I got it. Benjamins in my pocket. I trade in my truth for some robbers. And he's playing Batman, but he's gonna rob him. Going in with Fit Me Concealer for my primer for the eyes. I am going to place this all over and then take my Real Technique sponge and blend that all out. Going into Saddle from MAC, I'm going to place this right into my crease. And continuing to build up that crease shade, then we are going to go in with the blue shade right here, and this is called Plumage from MAC. I am going to place this a little bit lower than that first transition shade that we just did. This is really going to help make that cat eye if you focus it on the outer V. I'm going to keep blending until I get the right pigment that I want and then I'm going into my MAC single sh it's called I'm into it I'm going to wet my flat shader brush and then start packing this all over the lid I will do this several steps I'll blend and then I'll keep packing just so I get the right intensity that I'm looking for Next, going in with Atlantic Blue from MAC as well, I'm going to focus this on the outer V right where I'm into it and plumage meets. This is just going to bring more blue into the look rather than green. I will do this a couple times and then go back in with plumage just to get that right blend that we need. And then going in with my NYX liner, I am going to do wing liner today. To prep my eyelashes for falsies, I am taking Upward Lash from MAC and just doing a light coat over my lashes. And for lashes today, I am going with my Coco Lashes in Queen Bees. I like to do this step with tweezers just so I can get it on perfectly right to my lash line.
To prep my face, I'm going in with my Nivea Post Shave Balm and working that in until it gets a little bit tacky. And then going in with my True Match Foundation, I am going to dot this all over my face and then take that same Real Technique sponge and then blend that all out. As you guys can probably tell, my eyebrows are on. I did do those off the camera, so if you guys want to see my brow tutorial, I will link it down below for you guys. And for concealer, I'm going in with that Fit Me that we used to prime our eyes in the beginning and just doing underneath my eyes, on the bridge of my nose, and then also on the center of my forehead. I will set that with my Airspun Loose Setting Powder and then set the rest of my face with True Match Loose Foundation. Taking plumage again and working that on my lower lash line and then taking this Luna highlighter and then working that on the inner corners just to give the same highlighted effect I am going to be doing later on in this video on the rest of my face. Taking my Too Faced bronzer, I'm going to be dusting this all over my face. Since I will not be contouring today, I want more of a sun-kissed look. I will just be placing this on like the apples of my cheeks and along my forehead and around my jawline just to give more of a tan and sun-kissed look. Going in with that Luna highlighter, putting that on the tops of my cheekbones, on my nose, and on my cupid's bow. Finish up this look today, I'm going in with my Kat Von D liquid lipstick in the shade Lolita and then using my Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray just to make sure I get the longevity of my makeup that I am looking for. This is the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you guys liked this makeup tutorial. If you did, please leave a thumbs up and if you guys haven't already, please subscribe. Thank you guys. See you in the next one.